Thanks for sticking with us here on Adelante Chicago. Well, two international organizations thinking local. They've created a state-of-the-art center in an area that's home to one of the largest Latino communities here in the city. I'm talking about the Roosevelt Square Community Center. And joining us now to tell us a little bit more about this and the two organizations, we've got Tim McCormick, Executive Director with SOS Villages, and Peter Amaro with uh, Maestro Cares Foundation. Welcome to the two of you. Nice to have you. Thanks for having us. Okay, this sounds like an incredible partnership, and we get excited about stuff like that. So I think maybe we should begin with what each organization does. So I want to start with Tim, the SOS Villages. What is it for people that may not know about it? So SOS Children's Villages provides an alternate model of foster care here in the United States. And we have four sites uh, in Lockport, Illinois, in near Joliet, in the Back of the Yards neighborhood, Auburn Gresham, and this newest site, uh, at Roosevelt Square in the Pilsen Lower West Side. And what we do is we keep brothers and sisters together who will normally be separated in foster care. So of the 425,000 kids in foster care in the U.S., 75 of them get separated as brothers and sisters. And we build homes to keep them together. So it's an individual home with a full-time foster parent, the heroes of the story who uproot their lives and provide unconditional love to children in an intentional village um, where we create a sense of support within a whole community. And this is what's this part of the story of the Roosevelt Square Community Center that we All built. All right, and here we go. Bring in Maestro Cares, which we, if people are familiar with Mark Anthony, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of him, but uh, I know that he's been a part of, uh, right, Maestro Cares, and he's even been here to the Chicago area uh, on behalf of the organization. But talk to me about what it does, because you do a lot of work even internationally, and you, what your role will be here in Chicago. Absolutely, and it's a really great honor to be back here in Chicago, given that most of our work historically has been throughout Latin America. The foundation was started in 2012 by the icon, Mark Anthony and Henry Cardenas. Um, after seeing a village in Dominican Republic that where, where children didn't have access to basic needs like housing, education, and a safe place to play. So the focus of Maestro Cares is really doing that, making sure that children across Latin America and the U.S. have a safe place to learn, to live, and to play. And so over the last 10 years, we have partnered with organizations like SOS to develop a really amazing projects in Peru, Puerto Rico, Mexico, all to do exactly that, a safe place for children. And so it's a great honor to do that here in Chicago as we move here domestically. Um, the reality is a great need for the Latinx community here in the U.S. And uh, our home is here in Chicago. So Meister Cares is actually based here in Chicago. So it's no, no surprise that you see on 9094 our mural of our goals to provide a safe space to live, learn, and play. And most importantly, our first project here domestically uh, right here in Roosevelt Village. Yeah, so it makes sense once you talk about the work of these two organizations being, uh, you know, children. You really try to better their lives, and so that's part of the reason why you've both come together. What's special about this particular village that's going to be in the back of the yards neighborhood? What, what would you want people to know about it that maybe live in that community? I don't know if, Tim, you want to take that question. Yeah, so it, the, the village actually is in kind of in Pilsen and that area at 13th and Blue Island in the, in the city of Chicago. And, you know, what Maestro Cares was able to do with us is to do really three things. And, and you can see this. This was uh, the architect is Juan Moreno. Uh, yeah, uh, very Columbian. well known here. Yeah, in, the yes, Chicago. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. and, and, and looking at this. And this is now a center for the whole community. So when we built it in conjunction with Maestro Cares, we, we built it so that that whole community could come there and do three things. They could heal where there needed to be healing. We could strengthen uh, families and come together, and 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 there you see uh, Zaidi oh, Cardenas, the executive yeah. director, and and then empower a community. And so we have a partnership that Maestro Cares was able to get us with Goya Foods, and we have a culinary learning kitchen that where people from that whole community will come together, learn about nutrition, and then find jobs in the hospitality so and the service important. industry. Yeah, so important. Okay, I want to get the information up on the screen for folks that maybe are watching or interested in either of the organizations. We've got maestrocares.org. 
if you want info on that. And then we've got SOS Villages, their website being SOSIllinois.org, so you can check in with them by going to those sites. We'll post them also as well on my social media platforms and on the Adelante page. Thank you to the both of you for joining us today. We appreciate your time, uh, and we so will kind. talk to you soon. Good luck.